Yeah, I wrote this song as inspired, like all of my songs. Hey, Jackie Parker. Well, maybe you should. What's up, everybody? Don here again with another installment of Power Lifting and Power Chords. I'm here in my home studio that's actually in my RV to clear some things up. I'm an oil field worker who lives in an RV. It's very, very common. I spend a lot of time out in the field. I don't need a big house. I don't have any kids or anything. So around here, a lot of people choose to buy an RV and live out of it. Also, it's very I can move it depending on where the work is. So my home studio is in my RV and my home gym that's actually at work is in the office building of the company I work for, but nobody actually works there. We all work on drilling rigs or out on drilling locations. Just to clear things up. That's why uh, my home gym that's actually at work, you know, there's people have their boats, their dune buggies, there's furniture, there's people just store stuff there because nobody actually works there. But back to my home studio, that's actually in my RV. It's getting kind of complicated. Uh, <laughs> today I'm going to compare and contrast three different Telecasters at three different price points. I have a Chinese knockoff DIY Telecaster that I bought on eBay for 200 bucks. I have a 2009 Fender Deluxe Blackout Mexican Stratocaster. It's actually my brother's. And then I have my brand new American Professional Series Telecaster. So the price ranges is, the first one was 200, the second one's around seven to 900 new, and I just bought that 2019 American Professional and it costs 1600 and something. So first off, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. If we can get good light here, this is, this is my parts caster. It's uh, got a relic paint job. I have no idea what kind of pickups they are. I have no idea what kind of electronics are in it. It's got a rosewood-esque neck, but I highly doubt that's rosewood. It's got a real thin profile. It's probably the reason why I like this one so much. It was actually a good deal for the money. But the one problem I've got is this string right here will catch on this fret, but I'm going to fix that soon. I've got another pick guard. I've got some Schaller locking tuners. I plan on putting a Bigsby. I'm gonna relic it some more. It's gonna be more of an art piece than a player, but I actually like playing it a lot. So this might be my go-to Telecaster. Next, you might see me playing this a lot. This is that Blackout. Mexican Tele Deluxe. It's made in Mexico. It's got a nitro finish on a maple neck. It's real smooth. It plays real good. You can tell the difference in quality just going from this neck to this neck. It's got a little bit bigger frets. I like the thinner ones myself. It's got the black Fender logo. And on the back it says made in Mexico. But it makes this one stand out. It's not only does it have three pickups, it has three of these Alcoa nickel or plated pickups, um, people call them lipsticks. They're not actually lipstick tubes, but if you say that, people know what you're talking about. The new Nashville Deluxe has two single coils and one of these neck pickups. This one has three. It's a very interesting guitar. It's very nice. I tried to buy it from my brother. He won't sell it to me, but it's this one. Like I said, the price range on this one's around seven to 900 brand new. I could probably get seven to 900 for it now because it's kind of a rare one. And move it on. Now this is the one you saw in the unboxing. This is my trailer queen. If you don't know what a trailer queen is, a trailer queen is a real nice fancy car or a custom car that the owner never drives. He just puts it on a trailer and drives it around and shows it off. That's basically what this one is. It sits in the case and I hardly ever play it because it costs almost $1,700 and I'm really not that good and I'm afraid to scratch it or ding it up. If you have a $200 guitar and you scratch it up, or if you have a relic style guitar and you accidentally ding it, no big deal. You got a nice fancy finish and you scratch it up, it stands out really bad. It's got 
Tarmel frets. It's got the spaghetti, the original spaghetti. Fender logo, made in Corona, California. It's got this beautiful crimson red color. And here in a minute, I'm gonna plug them into my amp and we'll try them out and see what they sound like, see how they play, see what the difference is, see which one you might want. I suggest for beginners to start out with a cheaper guitar, but you wanna get quality. And thanks for watching. Let me get set up, let me get practice so I sound better than last time. And we'll be back. Okay, I thought this guitar was awesome. But I've spoiled myself and I got used to playing that American telly. But this guitar is still cool. First thing I noticed right off the bat is I tuned it like 20 minutes ago. And I already had to retune it. That has probably had to do with these cheap machine heads. I do have some Schallers coming in. I also want to put a Bigsby on it. And I'm probably going to order some Fender Texas Specials pickups to put in there. I can tell the difference in these pickups and those. I'll let you hear what I'm talking about. I've got it plugged into my Fender GT40. I, I love that amp. It is amazing. If only I could play. So bear with me on my playing skills. I need a lot of practice and I can play something awesome a hundred times. But as soon as I turn the camera on, I don't know. Something happens, I guess. But I got a clean channel. I'm going to play a few chords. I'm going to try not to play any songs that anybody can recognize. Even if I did play a song you should be able to recognize, you probably can't because I'm the one playing it and I'm not very good. I almost like having guitars more than I do playing them. But, I'm gonna, here's a D. I'm gonna start with the neck position. a little more Telecaster sound that I like on a clean channel. There's a bridge. I've got the tone all the way up or all the way down depending how you want to think of it and just rolled off a little bit the way I like a Telecaster to sound. That's bridge on, here's the same look in the middle. So look at this uh, Chinese do-it-yourself Telecaster kit. I'm gonna hot rod it up. I'm either gonna name it Hot Rod or Fireball. I want to relic it a little more. Kind of want to hit it with the blowtorch. I got a new pick guard and tuning heads already coming in. I want to put a Bigsby on it. One thing that might affect the tone, besides being no-name cheap pickups, is this is not a string-through body. The strings just simply come out here on the ends of the bridge and stop. A lot of people think that Telecasters get their tone because the strings come through two inches of wood before they come out. I don't know if that really has anything to do with it, but that's one thing I noticed. One thing I do like about this guitar, like I said, it's kind of relic, so if I scratch it, it doesn't really matter. It's got a real low action and a real smooth playing neck. It's just real easy to play, even when you're not very good, like me, I'm trying to think of something to play in front of y'all. So, this is Fireball. Or well, Hot Rod is the name of this one. It's nice. Like I said, 200 bucks on eBay. Great beginner guitar. Great one if you want to learn how to work on guitars. Great to mess around with. Great to play if you're not worried about messing it up. 
Now I'm going to move on to the Blackout Deluxe. That has five pickup settings on that Telecaster. That one runs around seven to nine hundred new. I may not go through all of it. I'm going to play it on the clean channel just so you can get a feel of how different it might sound from this cheap knockoff. Okay, on this Blackout Deluxe. To be fair, I'm going to only play it on the neck and bridge position. So I have something to compare to. I don't have anything else to compare to on the two. These two combined or these two combined. Or just the middle. So let's see what this one sounds like on a clean channel. Maybe I can think of something good to play. Uh, quick side note. If you notice something. I strung this one backwards. Part of the reason I strung it backwards. Was I'm used to stringing a Les Paul. And I don't know. I got confused. And maybe I'm halfway retarded. Which is probably true. So the strings are on backwards. I don't know. That's it, it is what it is. I got it from my brother. If he's watching this, I'll still offer him pretty much whatever he wants for this guitar. I love this guitar. And it's the only one I have with a maple neck. Or the only one around with a maple neck. This nitro finish. It plays real smooth. It's got a little bit larger frets than that Chinese knockoff. But it sounds pretty good. It plays pretty good. And it's kind of a rare special guitar. <laughs> not least my American professional crimson transparent the light in here is really just doesn't give it the look it goes for it really doesn't give credit where credit is due this guitar is shiny it's bright you can see through the wood it is just ridiculous of all the guitars I've ever played or ever held this one is by far my favorite in my other video you can tell you can't tell, but I can tell just from the feel of it. Feels luxurious. It feels like it's cost over twice as much as those rest of those guitars combined. It plays well. It looks well. It's got tall, narrow frets. They're kind of in between the size of those medium jumbos and those real skinny ones on that Chinese knockoff. I don't have my amp on. Part of the reason I'm retarded. Uh, another example of why I'm retarded is I just unplugged my foot switch and tried to plug it into the guitar and I realized the whole time at the intro I was saying three of the lipstick tubes instead of two I'm sure you all knew what I meant let me get my amp to warm up I'm gonna try to play something for you it's on a clean channel start with the bridge so well over my GoPro but I could tell the difference in the sound just right off the bat same with the tone got it all the way up and rolled off a little bit I like that Telecaster tone this might actually be a little low for me play power chord better I only know three chords not really I mean I control this amp with my phone and I'm controlling my GoPro with my phone. 
So I can't really change the settings in any real time. I like this one right here. Let's go. This is probably my favorite setting. John Marr delay. Or John Marr cleaner. <laughs> guitar unboxing that I do if you can guess what it is put it in the comments I'm trying to work on my camera presence if you can count how many times I said the word um and you are correct post it in the comments and I will send you a free DLC Texas music sticker I'll show you what one looks like real quick free DLC Texas music decal Thank you for watching today's episode of Powerlifting and Power Cores. Tell me what you think. Comment about the tellies. Tell me your favorite guitar.